Mode 2 is Voltages Mode. In this mode, the touchpads are each split into top and bottom zones to create 8 buttons that can be assigned specific voltages to send from all 8 outputs when activated. With 8 pads each able to send 8 separate values, you have 64 stored voltages literally at your fingertips. This mode creates a sort of preset memory for your modular system, and is great for setting up performance transitions between parts of a piece, or from song to song, or you can use it to inject some rapid changes to a patch or experiment with randomization. Simply tap a pad to select it, then use the encoders to set the positive or negative output values. Positive values are displayed green, and negative are red, with the intensity determined by the absolute size of the value. Pressing the encoder while turning allows you to dial in fine adjustments. Pressing the encoder while holding a pad resets that output to zero. Holding a pad while turning an encoder randomizes the output value assigned to that knob, and holding a pad while pressing shift randomizes all of the outs for that pad. Press the shift button to toggle between controlling outputs 1 to 4 and 5 to 8. The shift LED shows green if outs 1 to 4 are selected, and red if 5 to 8 are selected. In this example I have outputs 1 to 4, controlling the decay, mod, and X and Y inputs of Planck. Holding the shift button and adjusting the first encoder will introduce a slew rate between voltage changes. This allows you to have voltages slide from one set of values to another. Here I am sending the outs to the CV inputs of the quad VCA to set the levels of different sources of frequency modulation sent to a Dixie. The other outs are setting filter cutoff and Rainmaker's feedback and pitch shift settings. <laughs> 